guys ever found a bin of Lego bulk and thought, man, I could build something cool out of it. So that's what we're doing today. Today I'm doing three minutes, 30 minutes, and three hour challenge with a, three different Lego mocks. So yeah, let's get into it. Just some background context so you guys don't get mad at me in the comments for building a terrible mock or them not being up to your standards. I've never built a mock before. Um, I did a hint this on my YouTube shorts just the other day. So with that being said, let's get into it. For the first mock, I wanted to use this piece, this Darth Vader from the advent calendar. So basically, he's just a um, Darth Vader going to the beach with the fins. And so I came up with this. Now, I'm going to fill this, hopefully, with water. And then I decided to include this Darth Vader castle. And so, yeah, here are all my water pieces right here. Um, we got a bunch of these just normal studs. And then I'm adding a couple blue, a couple white. And then I'm using a couple of these flame pieces right here, if it wants to. Yeah, right there. So, um, yeah, let me fill this tub up. Or the, what is it, the sand up. And by the way, I already put these two studs down. So I'm gonna stand my Darth Vader on those and then fill this up. So then he looks like he's swimming. And yeah, let's get into it. Now all we gotta do is take Darth Vader's legs off. So I finished taking his legs off. Now all we have to do is place him down and then he's good. But he looks a little lonely, so I think I'm gonna add a stormtrooper because they didn't make the Darth or the Lord Sidious for the advent calendar. So I think I'm just gonna go with the stormtrooper with some sort of swimsuit. Came up with this body. So this is Farm Boy Luke. I think this came from a Ninja Turtle set a while back. I feel like I've had that piece before I even liked Lego. And now all I'm gonna do is add the stormtrooper head. And yeah, I know it's not the best, but it's like the closest thing to a swimsuit I have in my collection. So I think it'll work. Here's the minifigure all done. I finished him up. I think he looks pretty good. I left a shovel in his hands and yeah, I'll make it look like he is, I think I'll make it look like this guy is building something. I don't even know. I was gonna have him buried in sand, but I decided against that because I do not have enough of these tannish pieces. So I'm like this, like he's walking. I kind of want to just Vader to the side. Um, it looks a little cramped, I can't lie. And yeah, so I'm gonna change this up because I'm not a fan. And oh, looks like we have five minutes left. So yeah, let's finish this build off. Time is up, so I finished the build. I think it looks rather good for my first mod. I'm actually very proud of it. So we got Darth Vader over here swimming. I decided to put his flippers right here. They're not connected to anything. Then I got the pail or the bucket. And then I decided to make the stormtrooper look like he's sitting, like almost like, as a lifeguard. I wish I had a lifeguard piece for the stormtrooper. That would have been perfect. But I'm very proud. I know this might shame some people that I did not fill in the bottom. It's kind of just hanging off. But I did not have, I did not have the right piece. So I'm just gonna leave it like this. I think it looks great. I already showed you in my YouTube short how I built it. So if you would like to go check that out, um, I didn't show the stormtrooper minifigure because that is actually already like that is a genius idea but i didn't want to spoil everything now if you're wondering the farm boy luke pants don't come with this figure but i think it just looks almost like it's supposed to go with them it looks great and so anyway i would show you the timer it's already on the phone though so i have 30 minutes to build my next mock starting now now i built this it's Oh shoot, we only have 10 minutes left. Now, I don't know what to do. It took me 20 minutes to build this because I had no clue what to do, need some ideas. So I put the snowy terrain down and I was gonna put clones on it, but I didn't want to make the whole thing Star Wars themed. So I think I'm gonna put Avengers in here. I Yeah, that'll work. So I guess we'll start with this guy right here. I think I'll leave his helmet on actually. Usually I don't, but I like his helmet on better right now. So I got this clear piece, put through that thing on there, and let me go find the rest of my Marvel figures because I don't think I have enough to fill this up. I may have had to borrow these from my brother, but I have enough. Um, I don't think this is the right gun for Black Widow, but I think it looks pretty cool. It looks like an Uzi almost. I think that looks great. 
I think I'll keep her as well as Iron Man. And I put this blue stuff as well as another clear thing for him. And then I put Thor on a um, clear piece as well. And I'll put him one level lower. I got this Captain America. Now, I was going to add more, but it looks like... Oh my gosh. We only got five minutes left. So, yeah, I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm going to finish putting these minifigures down, and hopefully I can add a couple more details. I have four minutes remaining, but I have no clue what to build. And maybe I can use this time to get started on my next mod. I probably should have planned this out a little bit better, but here it is. I do not have enough time to add any of the details I wanted. This is more of a display mock. You just put them up there to display your figures. And I would add more, but I do not have a lot of Avengers figures. So this is the final product. I think I'm probably done. This is the worst one so far, I guess out of two. But yeah, I think I'm just going to use the rest of the time to move on to my last and final mock. Let's get into it. Guys, with my extra time, I just finished the other side. So if you cannot already tell, I'm making a clone station. I guess you probably shouldn't be able to, but... Uh, so basically I'm using these white pieces as terrain, and so the rest are all going to be clone based. Now I decided against making an interior because you only, I've never made a base before, and i pro probably going to waste most of my time looking for pieces. So, yeah. Alright guys, we're two hours in, and I do not have enough pieces to finish this door, so I was going to make this one a... Um, what was it? A garage. And I was gonna make a door right here, but I don't know. I've never made a door before. And then I'm just gonna, I guess I'll show you around all the way, but that's a stud shooter. Ran out of pieces. Do not have enough pieces to fill up this top part. It's really fragile. And that's why I'm not making it inside. Like, it's, it's all mismatched. But hopefully it'll look good in the end. But now I have to figure out how to make a door, so... Let me walk you guys through how I'm gonna make this. I think I'm gonna use this piece right here for the door. It fits, fits perfectly, but it looks kind of boring. So I'm gonna add some more details. Um, Yeah, let me start. So first I think I'm gonna add this. This little stud with a little handle. Then we got this right here. No, actually, I probably should flip that the other way. I don't know if you guys can tell, but. This right here is going to be like the part where you would open it up and you'd pull out. So that's kind of what I'm going for right now. And I'm not going to leave that empty. That's the little space empty right there. So I'm going to put this a grill piece. I'll zoom in so it's easier for you guys to see. Now I'm putting this grill piece. It is really hard to build with one hand, by the way. Putting this grill piece. Then I'm going to put another grill piece underneath it so it doesn't look. Now, I found this piece from the 501st Battle Pack. Oh my god, bro, I can't even find the camera. I found this piece from the 501st Battle Pack. I think it looks pretty cool. And so, I'm going to use that right here. So, we got that so far. Then I'll just add a couple more pieces and I think we'll be set. So, I'll put one space here. One of these here, and then I'll pop this little piece into place, and there's a door. So I think this looks pretty good. There's a lot of detailing on it, and yeah, I think I'm gonna connect it though using this white piece. Get out of the way. So I'm gonna use this white piece, and yeah, let's get into it. All right. So now I have the door added. I think it looks pretty good. Out of the two 501st pieces, they're very loose. If you just touch them, they move. But I get all my tiling ready, so um, I'm gonna add this to this part of the roof, and yeah, let's go. Alright, so I finished tiling off the roof. I had this little satellite, and I made it equal. It was at one point able to spin, but then I had to add this. So I changed it up a lot more than my original design. I would like to, but I don't really have enough of these pieces to tile it off and so I'm on to my last problem and we're just gonna ignore the door there that doesn't work but garage so I found a speeder that works 
pen that would fit in there. But it is so lame, so I don't know what to do. I think I'll just keep it and find a way to design a new speeder that fits in there, but for now, I think this is gonna have to do. So let's just try to fit him in there. Oh yeah, he fits. But I, won't, I was wondering if I could have him this man turning like out like that. So I'll probably display it like he's coming out of the, there like, yeah, like that. Perfect. I added the clones and some snow detailing. I kind of used all the other white pieces on the Avengers mock. So I think this is it for today. Now I finished this one. Actually, I had 20 minutes to spare. So I think that was good timing. I did spend a lot of time looking for pieces, trying to make an interior and yeah, but I think I'm good on this video. So let's bring them all the mocks together and compare. So we went from my first mock to my third mock. Now I do think I improved. I did film this a couple weeks apart. This, I filmed these two on the same day, but then this one took me a couple weeks to film because I kept losing pieces and yeah so this did only take three hours all together but i just could not work on it three hours straight so i would just pause my timer and take a break now if you are trying to build a mock and you get frustrated like i did a couple of times feel free just to take a breath and think about this because especially with this mock i was getting very frustrated because i don't have the right pieces so i just did what i could with my pieces um i think that looks good with this little blockade as well as a crate up there i think the clone troopers i did a good job picking and then i also think i did a good job making the signing of this but i'm just saying for all you people who like making mocks and don't have the right amount of pieces just always you can always use something else almost always now I, I do really love my mocks, I can't lie. I probably will have a hard time taking this one apart. But I think this is where I'm going to end the video. Um, by the way, I did add the satellite last minute. I don't know if it was caught in the video or not. But last minute I added the satellite custom. I think it looks just fine. And so please tell me which mock is your favorite in the comments below. Um, and feel free to suggest things that I could have done better. Just do it in a kind way, please. Come on, man. Like, you don't gotta be mean. It's Legos. Um, so, anyway, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and feel free to go check out another one of my videos. And I will be starting a vlogging series very soon. So, yeah. Bye.